Hi everyone, this is JJ, and today I have another general reading. This is option one and option two. Um, again, these are general readings. Take what resonate and leave the rest behind. Please, you are welcome, like always, to pause the video and to resume the video whenever you are ready. I want to start today with a quote that um, my son shared with me, and I thought it was great. Um, and I wanted to share it with you guys before we start the reading. And the quote goes like this. Perfect happiness is the absence of striving for happiness. I think that is a great reminder for all of us to always be happy where we are in life. And the things that we have and not to, to remind ourselves that to not be in that constant search of happiness because happiness again doesn't depend on anybody else we should be happy with who we are and what we have and where we are in the present so let's get on with the reading oh before i get on with the reading there is some channeled information that came through as soon as i sat down with the cards and there's just two messages that came through one is there's concealed information being um kept away from you so i don't know what where that comes in maybe the cards will bring in more clarification and there was another channeled message of um, display your work in a gallery or your work will be displayed in a gallery so i don't those are very specific messages that came through so it won't again it won't resonate with everybody so let's get on with the reading option one We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Six of Swords. And we have the Eight of Wands. And again, we will reveal this at the end of the reading to kind of see if it... Um, supports the reading or if it's a different message or just something else in another aspect of your life so here with the six of swords i am getting that some of you are cutting your lo your losses and moving on i feel like some of you are done with a struggle and you're deciding to move on maybe some of you someone is helping you move on this could be a person who is lending you a hand and um some of you are moving overseas okay or going on a trip on a boat trip on a flight trip with the eight of wands here as well i have to say it because both of these indicate travel there is a lot of movement as well like i said leaving something behind leaving rocky waters to go to calmer waters so if you are having a difficult situation it seems like things will be moving along just great um, there'll be a lot more calmer there will be resolutions coming your way for others of you, I feel that there is a need for um, a realization that there is a better position or a better choice for you. And that's why I feel that some of you are moving on from a situation or from someone. I feel like some of you are taking shelter. I don't know if this is because you were in an abusive relationship or something got hostile, toxic. I feel like some of you, like I said, someone's lending you a hand to move on. Maybe moving, um, escaping something. A, I'm hearing a nasty situation. I don't know. I feel like maybe some of you, it might be the other way around. Some of you may be helping someone get out of a nasty situation. If someone came to you and advised to help them or came telling you, hey, I need help um, with leaving something, I'm hearing lend a hand. Okay, lend a hand to this person. You have the resources or the ability to help this person at this time. For with the Ace of Cups here, I feel like there is a breakthrough in your situation that will allow you to move on maybe this is why the concealed information was coming through before when i was shuffling the cards maybe there is some information some email some text some i don't know some information that comes through that allows you to move on allows you to 
to kind of start over with the Ace of Cups here. To get a new beginning. There's just a lot of movement going on here with the Six of Swords and the Eight of Wands. I feel like, um, like I said, you could receive, I'm hearing an email or a letter that allows you to move on. I feel like there's rapid progression as well. Like things, you know, slowly start moving along, but then all of a sudden things shift. I'm hearing positive changes are coming your way. I feel like some of you may may have been enduring a difficult situation. If you are in a dating, um, you're in a relationship and you are dating and there is physical distance from you guys, I feel like there'll be a lot of text messages going back and forth, maybe emails as well, where some of you may meet someone online with whom I feel like things are going to go off to a great start. There is a great possibility of making um, of starting a really good relationship with this person but this person is physically not in the same place where you are there's physical distance in between you and this other person but there is a lot of messages and text scenes back and forth with this person again these news may be a message of love or some good message that allows you to move on with something with the Ace of Cups here, I feel like um, this could be, like I said, happy news, a new relationship. Could also be, a, I'm hearing a window of opportunity. This is the time um, to take advantage of that window of opportunity that will open up for you in order to move along or to, I feel like things will move really fast and they'll just be, like I said, a window of opportunity and you have to take it. Some of you will take it. And we have Unfinished Symphony. With this card, I am getting that some of you need to come to terms where you are now. I'm hearing some of you are avoiding to move on. And I feel like some of you may be avoiding to move on in a relationship. And it's because, you know, when we have unfinished business with the person... There's a lot of things that were not said and that doesn't allow us to move on. But again, this goes back to cutting your losses and moving on. I feel like some of you need to accept the facts and um, just, you know, accept what happened in the situation. If the person doesn't want to um, tell you why things went wrong or something like that, then, you know, just accept it for what it is and move on where are you moving you're moving to the ace of cups so you're moving to a fresh new beginning a beautiful happy beginning this is also a gift from spirit for others um i am hearing that um some of you i'm hearing don't quit before the finish line don't leave something unfinished I feel like maybe some of you thought that you're not moving a project or a person. It's not moving along or, you know, things were stalling. I feel like there'll be fast movement. So don't give up. I'm hearing don't give up. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you very much for watching. And now I'm moving to option two. So option two, we have the star, the fool, and the wheel of fortune. Okay. I'm hearing you're heading in the right direction. You're on the right path here with the star. Um, there's a promise of change. 
or change your fortune of something better especially here with the wheel of fortune there is a new beginning i feel i'm hearing some of you are settling in regards to your dreams your hopes and your dreams i'm hearing don't settle I'm also hearing there is spiritual guidance all over. Pay special attention to numbers. I feel like some of you numbers will be very important. The star card comes after the tower. So um, there is there has been or some of you have been. It's very similar to the first, but this one is all Trump. So I'm going to say that there is no control over the things that are happening in your life. You have to go with the flow. That's a major message I am getting here with the wheel of fortune i feel like there's calm after the storm um there's time to heal or you are now healing with the star here i feel like for some of you faith has been restored there's a strong sense of purpose um i feel like suddenly you know what to do and where you want to go i feel like some of you you're taking a risk okay with the fool here some of you are striking on a whole new path. I'm also hearing the saying, he who dares wins. So probably some of you are doing something that is considered risky for some people. Also with the Wheel of Fortune here, I'm hearing that there is um, a whole new phase, a whole new cycle in your life. Also, this is Lady Luck on your side. So there is luck. So this would be a good time to start something as well. I feel like the fool usually is seen as someone who is very eccentric. Someone who does things unconventionally. Um, and the thing is here with the star, um, I'm hearing that it's okay. Maybe you're planning to do something eccentric, something that's not normal. To consider normal according to social standards, right? Not don't take it the wrong way but i feel like someone is like spirit is reminding you that it's okay um if you are eccentric if you are a little unconventional because the fool has blinded faith i mean he embraces his differences and um he just goes with it he has trust and faith and he goes with it and i feel like some of you are going to be doing that or are going to be feeling that way and that will open new doors for you like i said i keep hearing some of you have settled in regards to your hopes and your dreams um, if that is the case don't do that if you've been a little ill i'm hearing there is healing offered to you you're going to feel like a whole new person there is a little bit of a warning here, and I have to say it. Don't act foolish with the fool and the wheel of fortune here. Don't act foolish. I'm hearing don't leave something stable for something that you're not sure of. I don't know who that is for. I don't know if you guys heard that noise, but my kids are sleeping, so I don't know who made that noise. Okay, so I'm going to consider that. Spirit does that whenever I'm on the right track of something. So whoever needed to hear that, don't act foolish. Don't leave something stable for something that you don't know if it will last. Um, here with the Wheel of Fortune, what I was saying, things are unstable. Okay, so be careful. For others of you, I am hearing don't be cocky. I feel like... The spotlight is going to be on you for something that you've done. Okay, this could be work, relationship, anything like that. But I feel like maybe this is where the message of displaying your work in a gallery. Maybe some of you will be, get the opportunity to display your artwork or photography or something in a gallery. And I'm hearing don't get cocky. Yes, money and luck is on your side, but don't act foolish. I'm hearing don't ignore those who've helped you along the way. Let's see what is the message here. 
17. So we have 17 here and 17 here. That's what I was saying. Um, pay attention to numbers. Numbers are going to be really important for some of you. You're going to be shown the way. See how these two are looking at each other? The star's looking down at her and she's looking up at her. So with the Fates card, this is a card about things being preordained. They are fated. And that's what I was saying with the Trumps here. They, when we have all Trumps is, um, it's a big emphasis that the things that are happening to you are out of your control. These are things that karmically were supposed to happen. If you believe in reincarnation, these are the lessons that you're coming here to to learn basically okay and so this is you know just go with the flow things are happening for a reason even if we don't understand them and again there is a sense of have hope don't lose hope trust there is guidance all over you again pay special attention to numbers i'm hearing numbers and that is all that I have for you guys. Thank you very much. I really hope some of you resonated with it. Again, leave um, comments down below. Give it a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.